Hello everybody, how's it going today? I am officially back from vacation where I was out in Prince Edward Island with my girlfriend and we had a blast of a time out there. I was actually able to find a local Pokemon card shop while I was out there and I picked up a few things, um, but we'll get into that shortly. First of all, I actually wanted to just really briefly share a few things about my vacation and uh, how it went. So. First up here, here's a map of where I was. This is out on the east coast. I believe the, uh, well, it says here Gulf of St. Lawrence, but I mean, you could say like the Atlantic Ocean, I guess. It was very cold. Um, and then here's a picture of me out on Brackley Beach. If you check the sign there, it says it, the water was 10 degrees Celsius. We, we, we tried to go in the water, but we just we just could not make it. It, it was terrible. And uh, here's a picture of a mansion I saw on the water. Christ is right. And here's a $1 million yacht. And if you're wondering how I know it was a million dollars, it's because I saw it for sale online. And lastly, if you don't like lobsters, you should probably skip this part, but here's my buddy Lester. I went on a fishing boat tour and I was able to hold it. So yeah, overall, Prince Edward Island was pretty cool. Uh, I wish the water was a bit warmer. Would have been nice to go in there. But uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Anyways, let's get into the good stuff here. Let's see what I got for Pokemon stuff. Uh, first of all, I did take a few videos of uh, when I was at the Pokemon card shop. So let's check that out really quickly. Um, so the place I was at was called Xor Games. Uh, they had a vast majority of stuff there. Collectibles, card games, board games, retro stuff, vintage cards. Um, their selection was really good. Um, and a lot cheaper than what you find here at Walmart at uh, or wherever you shop. I'm in Canada, so Walmart. Look, this Electrode V-Box was only $23. I've seen them at Walmart go for like $30, so I thought that was pretty good. <clears throat> they had a ton of vintage cards as well. Sorry for the light reflection. Uh, I only had my phone camera, and uh, this, is the best I, this is the best I could do. But they did have some really cool... There's a Blaziken V-Max there. I was going to buy it. But they were trying to charge me $350 for the raw card, and it wasn't even in that good of condition. So I ended up I ended up not buying any of the raw cards. Of course, they had the Lugia, a bunch of old Charizards. It was pretty cool. Anyways, so here's the stuff that I actually picked up while I was at the Pokemon card shop. I was able to find myself one of these mystery power boxes. Um, looks like it's a guaranteed four booster packs, um, one online code card. Uh, it says that chase packs are seeded 1 to 10, so hopefully we can get something other than, you know, Silver Tempest, Lost Origin. I mean, it's it'd be nice to get something a little older, but uh, you know how it is with those mystery packs. They can be a bit of a scam, or they can be a bit of a hit. So, let's see which one it is, but we're going to open that one last. So next up, I actually got some of these... Really cool looking uh, three card packs. Well, I only got two three card packs actually. Uh, Unbroken Bonds and Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. They were actually given to me with my purchase. So they were free, I guess. And then, <laughs> yeah, you're probably like, what? Why did you choose to buy these two booster packs out of all the other stuff they had in there? Well, you know what? I've never, I've never opened Crimson Invasion before. And I've only opened Rebel Clash once, and they were, like, on the cheaper end. So I figured, why not go for that and see what we can do. So I got one of each of those. Um, and then, I actually have a bunch of these already. But I saw them there, and I was like, okay, let's just grab another one. See if we can get that Moonbreon. It actually comes with a uh, cool promo card here. I really like that. I think we're going to start with these, uh, you know what, let's start with the three card packs. Um, Unbroken Bonds first. Yeah. Good old Unbroken Bonds. Alright, we got a cool looking Licky Tongue. Venon Venonat. And Charger Bug. Okay, so that was... Uh, Pressing. I mean, they're only three card packs. What are you, what are you gonna do, right? Okay, Guardian, Guardians Rising. Come on. Oh, that's a cool looking code card. Look at that. 
We got the Chespin, Fennekin, and Froki starters on there. Cool. Okay. We have Petal, Clefairy, and that thing. Cool. Paradise Conservation Area. Huh. Never seen that card before. All right. Give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion first, or Sword and Shield Rebel, Rebel uh, Yeah, yep. Yeah. Rebel Clash. Okay, go card. Four to the back. Okay, Energy. Palpitoad. Scoop Up Net. Chatot. Temple. Volaby. Glaring Corsola. Toxel. Glaring Mr. Mime. Oh! Yes! Okay. Honestly, that's like... That makes me pretty happy. That makes me super... That makes me so happy. We're off to a good start. I do not have this gold card yet. Oh my goodness. Prince Edward Island card shop. Thank you. Get in there! Alright. Come on, Crimson Invasion. Is it four to the back? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Energy. Trainer. Come on, Swablu. Swinub. Jigglypuff. Weedle. Cack turn. Okay. I do like the holographic patterns on the Sun and Moon cards. They're they're pretty cool. Alright. Evolving Skies, 3-pack, Blisters, let's go. Come on, Moonbrio. I need it. I want it. I want to have it. I mean, it is a bit curved. As I've mentioned before, for whatever reason, all these promo cards that come in these, like, any, like, promo card, they're always warped. Almost always. It's super annoying. And a cool Lucario pin. Very nice. Okay, we're going to start with the... Uh, let's see, which order of pack art should we do? Let's do this one first, and then we'll go into Sylveon and Rayquaza. Okay, come on. Give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. Trainer. Trainer. Zwellius. Pumpkaboo. Carvana. Velocifleur, Fletchling, Scraggy, Florges into a Stoutland. Pack number two. What can you do? Fire energy. That's good luck. Pout on. Braviary. Phoebus. Hitmonchan. Slack off. Petil. Pikachu, Galarian, Moltres, we got, what do we got, what do we got, no, Shift Tree, more like Shit Tree, last but not least, we got the good old Rayquaza pack art, code card, four to the back, fighting energy, Weeble, Mareep, Falafi, and a Alteria. <sighs> okay, well, Evolving Skies was not very nice to me. Now I, I'm starting to understand why they call it Evolving Cries, because it really is disappointing sometimes. But what are you going to do? Let's go open this mystery power box um, and see what we can do. Um, call of Legends. Now that would be sick. Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, we got Silver Tempest. We got Brilliant Stars. We got Astro Radiance. What's the last one? Lost Origin, darn, 
Well, you know what? Whatever. Okay, lost origin. Oh my god! I Woo! We got the Rainbow Lance, and to be honest, that's actually in really good condition. The centering looks really good on that. Um, oh, let's get that sleeved up. Woo! Alright, we got the Rainbow Lance. Let's check out the backside. Ah, looks like it might be a little off from left to right, but it's a nice card. It's a very nice rainbow. Okay, Brilliant Stars or Astral Radiance. Let's go Astral. Okay, come on Astral Radiance. Make this worth it. Make it worth it. Let's go. Chatot, Bonita, Cricketot. <sighs> Alistair! Has been pulled. That is a really nice card. Holy shit. That is a sick full art trainer card. Let's get you in there. There you go, Alistair. Nicely done. Mystery box. Okay, there's no way, right? We got billion stars to end it off here. And there's just, there's just no way, right? Like, can it actually get better than that? Code card. Four to the back. Energy, Claydol, Trainer, Grimer, Sneasel, Bidoof, Electapuzz, Chimico, Friends and Galar into Lapras. Okay. Okay. Honestly, um, I don't think I can complain because although, so we got nothing from the three card packs. I mean, that's, that's expected. They're just like sample packs. You're not going to pull... A full art every time you open one of those. Um, the Evolving Skies. Not good. But honestly that mystery box kind of made up for everything. Because. Here let's check out these cards. Let's check. So we got that Alistair. And then we got that Rainbow Lance. Then of course we opened the uh, booster packs. Where we got the gold scoop up net. So th this is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that overall. And that's it for today's openings. Um, today's video was pretty short in terms of uh, how much Pokemon cards I was opening. And that's because my next video is going to be a big one. Uh, sitting behind me in this box right there is all of my graded cards that officially came back from Beckett. Now, the funny thing is my girlfriend, she couldn't wait. I could, so she actually went through all the cards already. <laughs> yeah, that's right, she went through everything, so she knows what's in there, I don't. Um, and I think I told her to put um, everything back how she found it, so she didn't like organize them in any particular way, they're just kind of mix matched everywhere. Um, so hopefully we get some good stuff, I'm pretty excited to open those up and see what we got. Um, I sent in 47, I think 46 or 47 cards, so it was pretty expensive and I'm hoping to get some 10s back so that I can potentially sell some and get a little bit of money back and then keep the ones I want for my collection. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until next time, take care.